These were the rumors you couldn't believe were true, until it was revealed they were. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shocking declassified secrets. For this list, we'll be focusing on pieces of information that were once top secret, but have since been revealed to the public. For the record, we're not passing judgment on these secrets, but rather discussing how potentially shocking their declassification was to society as a whole. They're using these capabilities to make us vulnerable to them, and then saying, well, I have a gun pointed at your head, I'm not gonna pull the trigger. Number 10, Avro Canada VZ9 Avro Car. Have you ever seen what you thought was a UFO in the night sky? Well, if the creators of the Avro car had it their way, there may have actually been flying saucers in the air. The Avro Canada VZ9 Avro car was an experimental military collaboration between the United States and Canada during the Cold War, and it entailed building a fighting aircraft whose design resembled a flying saucer typically found in 1950s sci-fi. Work on the project was reduced over the years, however, and eventually abandoned in 1961, thanks in part to disappointing stability performances with its vertical takeoff and landing. I was gonna do this the whole way. Let's make sure your seat bags and tray tables are in their upright and locked position. Number nine, atomic bombs over North Carolina. This former military blunder has gained a higher profile over the years thanks to a number of major news sources like CNN and Fox News running the story of a near nuclear disaster. In what is now referred to as the 1961 Goldsboro B-52 crash, a bomber jet containing two finished nuclear bombs crashed over North Carolina on January 24th of that year, and actually dropped both bombs to the ground during the process. Although a parachute did deploy over one of the bombs, the other fell to the ground. Hey, what about Major Kong? <laughs> Thankfully, safety pins had been removed from the first bomb, while impact from the crash only damaged the second, sparing the entire country from potential destruction. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know where. Number 8. The Lost Children of Francoism the dictatorial rule of Spain's Generalissimo Francisco Franco was one marred by multiple human rights violations, censorship, and violence. One other shocking secret behind his reign, however, was that some children born to parents who either opposed Franco's ideals or were otherwise seen as inferior to the general's racial views were stolen. An estimated 300,000 children were reportedly stolen by hospital staff, nuns, and priests over the course of 50 years, with some parents told that their babies had died shortly after birth. Accusations of human trafficking and illegal adoption were leveled at Franco's regime, as well as the Catholic Church, who were said to have sold these children to other parents across the country. Number 7. Dark Alliance Did the CIA specifically know that you were selling cocaine to buy guns and supplies to support its cause? Objection! The term Dark Alliance refers to a series of investigative articles published by journalist Gary Webb in 1996 for the San Jose Mercury News. Webb's articles called attention to the influx of crack cocaine into the Los Angeles area, specifically its connection to Contra rebel groups in Nicaragua. So he said, why don't we use the cash seized from the cocaine arrest to fund and support the Contra war? In his work, Webb also accused the CIA of supporting the Contras, leading to a major government investigation and news coverage across the country. There were doubts and criticisms leveled at Webb's work, however, with both the Mercury News and the Los Angeles Times claiming inaccuracies and exaggeration. Um, I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm biased, obviously, I'm a reporter. And Webb would resign from his position, working freelance and writing a book on the Dark Alliances before committing suicide in 2004. Number six, Operation Neptune Spear. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda. The US government had a name and face for their most wanted list in the aftermath of the September 11th terror attacks. That name and face belonged to Al-Qaeda founder Osama bin Laden, and his death was the subject of a covert classified operation known as Operation Neptune Spear. In this operation, a group of airborne military, CIA operatives, and Navy SEALs tracked bin Laden to Pakistan, whereupon he was killed and his body buried at sea. Got a possible jackpot. Roger that, possible jackpot. Shit. The controversy behind Neptune Spear is due largely to the lack of any physical or DNA evidence of this killing, as well as reports that bin Laden was unarmed at the time of his capture. These reports continue to fuel conspiracy theories to this day. 
After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden and took custody of his body. Number five, global surveillance disclosures. Why did you do this? The NSA has the greatest surveillance capabilities uh, that we've ever seen in history. Now, what they will argue is that they don't uh, use this for nefarious purposes. Patriot or traitor? These are the opposing labels assigned to Edward Snowden, a former NSA contractor who rocked the world in 2013 when he released thousands of top secret documents and files from the United States, Canada, Australia, and the UK. These leaks drew international attention and scrutiny, with one of the main takeaways being the individual's right to privacy from the government. Snowden took temporary asylum in Russia from the charges of theft and espionage laid against him by the US in 2014. My country is something that travels with me, you know. Meanwhile, critics of his actions, like President Barack Obama, claim that Snowden's actions put the country and its citizens at risk to enemies, and that leaking these secrets did little to keep people safe. The way in which these disclosures happened have been, uh, have been damaging to the United States uh, and damaging to our intelligence capabilities. Number four, Project MK Ultra. Can a government develop mind control techniques over their citizens? This was what the United States attempted to find out during the 1950s and 60s with a series of experiments known as Project MK Ultra. These programs experimented on subjects using psychedelic drugs, hypnosis, and chemical agents, reportedly to acquire some sort of mental control or dominance. Some historians have theorized that MKUltra was designed to create assassins who would be used for long-distance espionage, while others just talk up the whole thing to an expensive study in LSD drug trips. MKUltra's use of unwilling or unwitting test subjects, however, led to the project's ultimate dissolution in 1973. As it turns out, he really was being given daily doses of LSD for 11 years. Number three, Unit 731. There are war crimes, and then there was Unit 731. This Japanese research group committed unthinkable human atrocities during World War II, experimenting with physical, medical, and chemical torture on some 3,000 people, many of them Chinese prisoners. Furthermore, there's evidence found in Chinese and Japanese documents showing that the U.S. traded immunity for data in the years following the war's end. This is particularly shocking given the brutality associated with the methods of Unit 731, which were said to have included live vivisection, germ warfare, and use of a gas chamber. The sheer magnitude of Unit 731 and the associated crimes has led some to call the era the Asian Holocaust. Number two, Operation Northwoods. A quote from Alan Moore's V for Vendetta states that, quote, people shouldn't be afraid of their government, governments should be afraid of their people, unquote. People should not be afraid of their governments, governments should be afraid of their people. But maybe it's the other way around. Operation Northwoods was a shocking plan during the 1960s for the United States to actively engage in homegrown terror attacks in order to incite public demand for a war in Cuba. The U.S. was determined to oust the communist government of Fidel Castro from Cuba after the failed Bay of Pigs invasion in 1961, and was seemingly willing to do whatever it took to achieve these ends. President Kennedy rejected this proposal from his Joint Chiefs of Staff, however, and Operation Northwoods was thankfully never put into use. Before we unveil our topic, here are a few declassified honorable mentions. She was an undercover agent for the CIA. And when an investigation traced the leak of her name all the way to the White House, it became apparent this was no ordinary spy story. Operation Gladio. It was a NATO stay-behind mission set up to counter a possible Soviet invasion of Western Europe. But then it sort of turned into this whole weird crypto-fascist CIA shit show. God wills it! Number 1. Operation Paperclip Enemies were turned into allies under the rules of Operation Paperclip, a shocking secret whose details remain almost inconceivable to this day. After the war ended, we were snatching up kraut scientists like hotcakes. The program was conducted after World War II by the United States Office of Strategic Services under the approval of President Harry Truman during the Cold War. Dr. Werner von Braun, who is at present 
the chief of the guided missile division of the Army's rocket center at Redstone Arsenal. Operation Paperclip involved over 1,500 scientists and engineers who originally worked under the Nazi regime in Germany, being brought into the U.S. to assist in weapons research and development. Although Truman specified that no Nazi members or sympathizers were to be included, the OSS destroyed the critical evidence that would have proven their Nazi status, believing that the results of Operation Paperclip would be crucial to homeland security against the Soviet Union. You don't believe me? Walk into NASA sometime and yell Heil Hitler, whoop! They all jump straight up! So do you agree with our list? Which covert operations do you find the most secretive and shocking? For more illuminating top 10 lists published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. The objective of this program was to prove the effectiveness of the new control system from hovering through transition in the presence of the ground up to free flight conditions.